What's going on guys? Welcome to Clovercast episode two. So in my last episode, I was kind of going over some of the, the things that I'm looking to do in some of these new podcast series that I'm, I'm starting. And uh, in this episode, I want to go over pretty much kind of a general overview of some of the, the crypto projects that I'm in right now, some of the things that are working, um, some new up and coming projects that look promising. And so that's, that's kind of where I wanted to um, kind of give a, a little bit of insights into some of the things that, that I've been into recently. So, you know, if, if you go back and in some of the videos that I was doing uh, a little while ago, uh, you know, I had intentions to, uh, you know, to u- utilize Hex, you know, before they, they went into Pulse Chain. Because uh, I, you know, at the time I was pretty bullish on that, and I was thinking, you know, that that was going to be something that I might be able to use uh, as an income source to fund some of the the projects that I'm that I have out on, on uh, my land, you know, right outside the city here, um, you know, and, and that didn't uh, that didn't work uh, out the way that I that I'd been hoping, and so. Uh, I think there's there's a lot of people that um, are kind of in this this uh, niche in crypto that uh, that have been in hex that are in pulse chain and um, you know everything is is uh, is way down from from where it was and so that also caused you know some issues and problems because I wasn't able to really um, you know kind of do some of the things that I wanted to do out on my land and instead I kind of had to move back into the city get on a a solid internet connection and kind of refocus a little bit. So, um, you know, I'm still holding, I didn't sell, you know, any of my pulse chain or, or, uh, hex. I kind of bought the, the local top, um, you know, of those and, and, uh, just kind of waiting for those to recover. So that could be, uh, you know, a good, uh, time to, you know, accumulate with some of those projects. If if you think that those are going to do well in the future and, and I do, um, it may take some time with, with some of the, the legal stuff that's just come out recently. And uh, I think that uh, those could be one where um, that could really, you know, fuel the project. You know, there's, there's been some talks where that was almost like, a, you know, something that, um, you know, like a trap in a sense that, that Richard Hart had put out there to uh, lure in the SEC with some of these things. And now he's got a real strong case to counter, you know, a lot of the stuff that they're doing. And so if that ends up being successful, I think you'll see, uh, you know, hacks and pulse chain really take off because those, um, you know, that layer two uh, blockchain in a sense, um, it's it's something that uh, that has a lot of promise because uh, there's there's a lot of uh, you know um, you know layer two blockchains out there that uh, aren't aren't really as, as functional. You know, you've got um, you know you've got uh, Binance Smart Chain, you've got Tron, uh, you've got Matic, you've got several others that are. Uh, you know, kind of in that in that realm, but I think that there's going to be some more uh, opportunity, um, you know, with with some of these if if, if something uh, you know really comes to the forefront and and becomes one that has a lot of the, the transactional volume as well as the uh, you know the the user base to really um, you know make it one of the leaders right now. But um, you know, Ethereum is still kind of where where a lot of that lies and I think that um, you know if, if they can solve some of the the issues with gas fees and and um, you know some of the things that have been problematic for ethereum that, that could be a big one so um, for for right now even though that's kind of my biggest holding that's kind of been put on the back burner because it's not really something that I can I can realize and um, you know other than that I think the the big one that's been trending has been elephant money uh, you know I've I've been in a part of Bank Teller's projects from the very beginning, um, you know, going, going all the back, all the way back to, um, you know, 2018. Um, you know, he's he's he started with with uh, several projects. And then, you know, there was the um, you know uh, flow, which looks as though that's kind of dying out. Um, and I, th- I think so much has been said in, in some of the Telegram um, groups, and, and there's been a, a huge dip in price, uh, you know, with with Banker X token. Uh, just recently, so um, that is is really you know kind of you know ha- having a lot of uh, uh, the people that were in that you know move over to to elephant money if they haven't already because that's kind of where all all of the the um, you know the the activity has been lately. So elephant money over the last month, just the last month, has, has doubled in price. The elephant token, and uh, it's in another parabolic run. You know, it it, it did this a year ago. Um, you know, I, bought, I pretty much bought the top on that one as well. And uh, that was right before, you know, they kind of had their, their uh, you know, their major hack. And so that hack wasn't really as big as, as I think a lot of people 
uh, make it out to be. Like, I think the, the hacker only made out with like $11 million or, or something like that. It was kind of the, the um, you know, the aftermath of that. Um, you know, people selling, people, uh, you know, unsure. Um, you know, I was, I was one of them. So like, I didn't really know um, if that was gonna be secure at all. There wasn't, at, when, when that was happening, um, the communication wasn't all that great. Um, and then, um, you know, they, they were able to resolve that, fix that, and, and uh, I think that uh, with the, the lineage of Bank Teller's projects, there's been a lot of um, confidence that, you know, this is going to be um, one that, that is, is secure, like what, what we have in its current state with elephant money. And um, I think as investor confidence is growing, you're seeing uh, that reflected in the token price. So, um, you know, elephant money, you know, other than Hex, I mean, that's, that's right now is probably one of my, it is one of my biggest holdings. And so there's, there's a lot of different ways to get into that. Um, you know, you have, uh, you have futures, you have uh, Stampede, uh, you have Unlimited with the NFTs, you have Trumpet. Uh, all of those are feeding into the, the elephant token. And um, so that's, that's been one that, uh, um, has a lot of positive buy pressure with with people that are getting into some of these feeder projects, and um, you know that's um, something I'll go a little bit more in depth into in, in some of my other videos. Um, you know, right now with the way that that's trending, I think that that's going to be a good one to to focus on doing. You know, some some projects where um, you know I'm explaining some things in Spanish. So I was in, looking at maybe doing some shorts in uh, in elephant money in Spanish. And um, you know, kind of doing some more promotional stuff with that, and, and seeing seeing how that goes. Um, and so I'm, I might be uh, looking to, to, to focus on, on doing some more content around elephant money, um, you know, within in the shorts realm. So I think right now I'm really probably just going to be sticking to you know this this podcast series and just. Uh, you know, kind of giving a, an overview of some of the things that, that I'm in and, and bringing on some guests. So I, I had a couple of people that reached out to me from my last video that uh, were interested in, in coming on. And, and so I think I'm going to have a, a few guys that I'm going to be doing uh, an interview series with and, and some things where, you know, we can have some more, um, you know, lively crypto discussions and, and, and throwing around some, some different um, uh, concepts, concepts and uh, ideas that, that are currently going on with crypto. Um, you know, the, the one that uh, I was using a lot is kind of like the, the, the income that I was living off of probably for the last two years has been Drip. And Drip is, um, I looks like it's going under a change. Um, you know, I've seen some things where it's going to be, um, it's going to be changing to, um, you know, something where it's not paying out the 365, but they're going to try to kind of um, you know, do a one-to-one -one ratio. So basically, you just have to kind of claim out, and they're going to force people into the, uh, the the DDD lottery that they they just came out with that didn't do as well. And I think part of that was just you know it's kind of the uh, the the complexity you know with with, with some of that. Um, um, it's not like easy necessarily to to understand for someone that doesn't have you know a, a fairly you know big background in crypto so maybe if there was some some better you know marketing content that that was out there that might be a little bit better but uh, you know as, as of right now that that didn't have the intended effect on the token price as a whole and so um, you know I, I think that Forex is, is definitely a very accomplished developer and, and he's going to be working on some different things but uh, uh, as far as like you know the, the token price and and the uh, you know the viability of that ecosystem is, is currently in a downtrend and uh, I think it's going to um, take some you know some um, some innovation to kind of get that back on track if if that ends up doing well but man drip was um, you know the biggest thing in DeFi probably the most successful DeFi project for the last two three years and so that's that's a, a very good accomplishment considering some of the the projects that were before that you know you had stuff that like Tron chain was kind of one of the big ones that, that, that came around that was you know successful for you know maybe about an eight or ninth month stretch um, you know there was flow which was also successful um, you know for a, a time period and um, you know and all, all the the, the bankroll uh, network ecosystems that were incorporated with that as well um, I think that uh, right now, if, if, if you're looking at like a DeFi protocol that's kind of um, you know becoming king, 
um, in the space, uh, it looks like it's, that that's shifting to elephant money. And I think you're seeing, um, you know, some of that reflected in with the, you know, the people at least in, in the circles that, you know, that I've been in that are um, kind of redirecting their focus uh, in, in that way. And so, um, you know, I think uh, there's there's some some smaller projects. Um, you know, I, I was talking about ArcFi on my channel for a while. Um, you know, they had kind of some of the same intentions. They have a lot of uh, development behind what they're doing, um, but um, you know the the um, kind of the 3x model on your your money that you have. I mean, essentially, they kind of had something similar. Like it was, I guess it was about you know 365 at like one percent you know per day on 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 um, you know some of those. But you had you know some different ways to kind of increase that, or that might lower depending on how you're withdrawing from the system. But that's it's got so much sell pressure on that one right now. I I don't know if that's going to be one that's that's going to um, um, you know, be turning around anytime soon. Uh, but I do think that has a lot of potential uh, with with the development that's behind it. The guys that are behind it, I think, have some, um, you know, some some really good products and things that they're working on to to uh, boost the price. You know, the the most recent one was their ArcFi card, uh, which um, I need I need to try to see if I can figure out and see if I can get that working here. Uh, I need a little bit of time to be able to do that. Uh, but they're going to be bringing in some some different on ramps and things, and, and those guys, you know, have kind of made it clear that their intentions are to keep working, and um, you know, even though you know the, the the token, you know, currently is down about 100x, you know, from about five dollars to five cents, um, you know, if that ends up being something that they're able to turn around, that could be one that could uh, could, could be. Uh, um, you know, ha have a lot of opportunity in, in that as, as well. So, um, you know, that's one to kind of keep on the radar. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure if with some of the, the smaller projects, if, if those are going to be ones to invest in just yet. But you do want to keep an eye on some of those. I think that, uh, you know, it does, have, it does have some potential to turn around. Um, you know, I, I've been in um, uh, chips, which is kind of like a, a casino. That was something that, um, you know, from, you know, growth DeFi in, in some of the, the projects that were in that ecosystem, they, um, you know, they had um, um, uh, people that were, um, it was kind of a part of the growth DeFi ecosystem where they were investing into the, the chips casino. And so that's, um, it, it's a, you know, a, a fairly successful online casino. Um, if, if you're into some of the, um, some of the dice games, some of the, the chance games, um, and some of those, those uh, products that, that they have there, it's probably one of the better casinos um, that, that are out there um, at the time being, but it's not really something that's producing a whole lot of income. So the idea behind that is kind of a, you know, you have a casino token and the more that you bet, uh, you're able to earn some of those and then those earn you dividends based on the volume of transactions in the casino. And, um, you know, the, the developer behind that and, and the people behind that have a, a history of, of um, you know, being involved with some successful projects and they've been, they've been uh, on that, you know, for a while. So that's, that's one that's, um, you know, again, I think to, to keep an eye on, um, uh, but uh, it's not really producing a whole lot of income at, at the moment. Uh, divs was one I think that is, is very simplistic in its design, um, and uh, I'm looking to, to bring on uh, the founder onto this uh, this podcast. Uh, you know, this is something that is a community project that um, um, is very small, but it's, it's something that has. Um, um, you know, potential uh, future to, to grow with some of the, the things that they, they want to do. So a lot of these guys are people that, um, you know, are, are in some of the communities that we're in. So they're more trusted in that sense. They're not unknown, you know, people. These are, you know, people that are, are working to, to make that, uh, uh, you know, ecosystem a reality. And it, it is a really good one if you're, if you're looking for an easy way to, um, to just move in and out of, of different cryptocurrencies on different blockchains, um, you know, for a small fee, you know, you're able to do that. So for somebody that's, you know, doesn't have a whole lot of crypto experience, they need to, to go from, you know, BSC to, to Ethereum or, you know, something like that, you know, they can, you know, they can send a transaction, um, you know, wait, you know, about 30, 45 minutes, you know, something so about, about in that range. And you're able to, um, you're able to, uh, 
um, easily, um, you know, kind of move on to to different blockchains. So it's it's real simple in its design, um, but uh, you know they're also you know kind of working to to get that up and running again. And I know they have some some promotions and some different things that they're they're working on to to build out that project. So. Um, you know, Grow, which, which uh, is one that I've been involved with, you know, for, for quite a while, um, you know, they've kind of gone into a, a lot of different, different areas, um, and a lot of those didn't work out, and I think one of the problems that, that, that they were seeing um, is, is having a token that, that doesn't have, a, you know, a solid backing, you know, with, with anything like a, a stable token or, um, or Bitcoin or, or something like that. So there was a lot of innovation with some of the things they were doing, but as soon as you know, a large investor kind of gets, um, um, you know, w wants to sell, um, that kind of sell pressure it can cause a lot of, um, you know, FUD in, or, you know, in, in, in terms of the, the token price, a lot of downward pressure because of, of people, um, you know, not having, you know, um, a lot of, um, security with, with that being a long-term uh, solution because of uh, the, the token price is not stable. So they started moving into a different model where they were, you know, backing it on um, something that, uh, you know, can, can stand on its own. And I think that's, you know, the way to go with, with some of these, these, um, these other crypto projects that we've seen recently is, is to do something like that, where you have a, a token that's you know um, based on a stable token or based on something that um, is not going to get dumped into oblivion that's going to you know kind of wreck the project and so the um you know i'm i'm still in contact with with ghost um you know i'm, I'm hoping that uh you know maybe there's something you know that that can be um you know done to kind of resurrect some of those projects but uh you know they can be uh, a little bit risky you know with with, with some of those there's um um, you know, it needs it needs um, it needs more development. It needs more more people working on those. So, these are you know, in, in the grand scheme of things, these are kind of some of some some smaller projects that have um, you know that that I've been you know trying to um, you know find a, um, you know a, a real footing with. You know, with some of the smaller projects, they they do have the potential to. Uh, you know, if you get, uh, you know, substantial holding, you know, I, I think I've talked about this before on my channel where, you know, if you can have or own 1%, you know, of, of, a pro of an up and coming project um, that's, uh, that's really growing in size, that can be, that can be um, um, very, very profitable. So, you know, Growth DeFi it was, was one that, uh, you know, I had a substantial holding in and, and um, you know, about two years ago, you know, it was worth, you know, over a million dollars, you know, and, um, you know, it's, it's gone down. Uh, you know, considerably, and I um, was kind of in a forced holding position, you know, because of that, uh, because of the way that I, I had staked, you know, inside, you know, the ecosystem, and you're not able to, um, you know, release some of those tokens. So it's, um, you know, it, um, uh, you know, it, it was it was a frustrating one because I was that along with Hex, you know, about two years ago, those were my my two biggest holdings, you know, by far, um, and those kind of overshadowed a lot of the other projects. And so when that really um, you know, uh, came down, um, you know, that, uh, that really kind of impacted, um, you know, my ability to, you know, um, uh, you know, have, have the, the, the economic means to do some of the things that I want to do here in Iquitos. So, um, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm always kind of out, you know, looking for, for newer projects and, um, there's, there's a, a few people that I've been talking with, or with some newer projects. You know, some of the problems with that is you don't have as much of a, uh, a working relationship with some of these people. You don't know how legitimate they are. Um, you, it, it's difficult to trust, you know, some of these and, and a lot of them are just in the very beginning phases of, of some of these. So. Um, I, I think that I might be interested in, in you know, having some of these, these uh, newer projects on, uh, the, you know, this, this podcast and, you know, they can kind of go through their project and, and uh, you know, we can have like a more of an AMA style um, with, with some of those. But uh, um, as far as, in, you know, investing, you know, in, in, in some of these, it's, it's difficult when, you know, some of the other projects are not doing as well and we're, we're still kind of in this, in this bear market that's... Um, you know, gonna gonna take some time to to recover, um, but we're coming up on you know the Bitcoin halving that tends to have a, a very you know positive impact on on price as a whole. 
Um, I think I'm going to do a little bit of kind of general technical analysis on some of these podcasts in the future. I might spend like five minutes and and just kind of give you know my thoughts on on where I, th I see the the price of of um, you know some of the major cryptocurrencies um, and, and where those are going. So um, these are kind of like projects that uh, you know that have potential to um, you know to explode in value but they are smaller in, in nature and there are other you know kind of larger you know ecosystems or protocols that you can get into that have income potential and I don't have a uh, uh, you know a, a a investment really in, in some of those, but I would like to build you know some of those up. And like when you're looking at yield farming um, with with uh, cryptocurrency pairs that have a lot of upside potential, um, like I was just looking on on Pancake Swap, you know that's that's one where you know providing liquidity you can you can earn uh, a pretty sizable APR in, in some of these coins. But you want to get into coins that um, you know aren't going to um, um, be subject to a lot of impermanent loss, and I think that there's, uh, you know, some some yield farming opportunities that that um, um, with with very large established protocols that offer a passive income that you can use. You know, you could then use a lot of those profits from um, from, from some of those ecosystems to get into maybe other riskier projects because you have the backing of of knowing that you know you have an income source with with something that's uh, a very secure. Uh, protocol. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be looking to expand some of the things that I'm doing there. Um, but uh, you know, in terms of a passive income with with some of these these in, these ecosystems, you know, that the staking, the yield farms, um, you know, doing you know simple trading strategies. I was doing a, a trading strategy um, where uh, you know I'm kind of looking at you know the the history of you know, the, the trading activity with a particular coin and trying to set really low, um, you know, price order longs, right? You know, maybe, you know, 8x, 10x. Um, so I was doing that uh, for a little bit, um, you know, back, I think when, when Bitcoin was, you know, right around 29, you know, 30,000. <clears> and so uh, when you saw this big dip uh, with some of the, the smaller altcoins that I was in, you saw a really dramatic dip in some of those and uh, got liquidated on uh, on some of the smaller altcoin pairs that where I you know had about 8 or 10x leverage and so I wasn't trading with a whole lot of money but uh, I wanted to develop a you know some sort of trading strategy you know similar to that based on um, you know things that are that uh, that I'm seeing so if, if you see that the the market as a whole is kind of in a in, in an uptrend and you can kind of look at some of the, the larger time frames to be able to determine that then you know you might have um, you might have a trading strategy there where you can you can um, you set some of those low order order longs and and uh, you know if, if they if, if you get some some high volatile times like in, in the middle of the night which is typically what was happening with me is like you know I'd um, you know I'd, I'd set my orders um, and go to sleep and then when I wake up in the morning I'm in you know a really profitable long because you know the the market took a took a big dip um, so. Um, so I've had varied success, you know, with some of that, you know, leverage trading is, is, uh, um, you know, it's, it's risky. I've, I've lost a, a lot of money, um, leverage trading. And, um, I think at this point I'm kind of doing it on, on a smaller scale and, um, you know, just trying to kind of stick with it and try to find, you know, some trading strategies that, um, that are going to work. And, and then, you know, over time, um, that might be something that, that, um, um, you know, that I, I can use to, uh, you know, supplement some of my, my income sources. Um, another project that I'm uh, looking to get involved with uh, here, uh, a new project, has been the GOAT token. This is one with uh, the, the DGEN protocol, some guys that I've been, uh, you know, involved with for years and years. I've known these guys for a long time, and uh, they, they have, uh, uh, you know, some trusted developers that are, um, you know, with Donnie uh, being, you know, really the main one um, that are working, have been working on this project for, for a long time. So the idea of the GOAT token is kind of a, an aggregate token that's doing, you know, some different functions. You know, it has, you know, some, you know, a certain portion of the funds that are going to be, you know, allocated to, uh, you know, different projects, some that are allocated towards trading. Um, and I think the thing with the GOAT token is there's, there's a trust level with it. 
So there's been projects that have tried to do something you know, kind of similar to this that ended up folding um, or, or having a lot of issues um, you know, with um, you know, maybe losses in the market or, or things like that. Uh, with this one, it's, it's going to be very transparent because of the, you know, the, the guys that are involved. And, and for that reason, you know, it, could, it, it has a, a, a lot of um, uh, potential to be something that could be huge on the, uh, the, the, the Pulse Chain ecosystem. So the, the Pulse Chain ecosystem has a lot of very innovative projects. You see a lot of innovation from, from projects that, that, are, um, that are building uh, building on that. And I think that there's... Um, um, there's going to be a lot of opportunity in, in different areas, and and those guys have been been really successful. You know, I mean, um, you know, Black Sheep was sharing something recently where he got into you know the the, the P die, so basically the Pulse Chain version of die, put four thousand dollars into it, um, you know, um, like a month ago, and it's it's worth over a hundred thousand dollars at this point, and and you know he's not you know he's not selling, you know he he really uh, feels that. That that's going to move back to peg, and and if you look at some of the research that's being done, on on um, you know some of the, um, the 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 development of that, you know there's projects that are that are working to to make that a reality. Um, Tropa was was one of them. I think there was a few others. So uh, you know Richard Hartz talked about it. So it's it's um, you know there there's a lot of the the tokens you know that were there were mirrored copies that came over to Pulse Chain that um, you know that their value is just all over the place um, and for those to kind of reach parity with uh, you know with you know the the actual market um, it's it's uh, it's going to take some some innovation from some projects that are kind of working to 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 um, you know provide you know some of that um, stability whether it's through liquidity or, or some other uh, you know um, um, uh, projects and protocols so you know that's uh, the goat token. I, I think has a lot of excitement within the the community. There's there's a lot of guys that um, are are contributing that are that are working on it, and uh, I'm looking to also um, you know be be a part of that. Um, I'm, I'm going to be testing you know with with, with uh, some of the stuff they're working on here recently, but it's it's getting ready to go here real soon. So um, you know that could be a massive opportunity for people that are that are getting into to that early. So it's it's always good to kind of know some of the um, some of the projects that are coming up, um, and uh, getting in those early can be be uh, be, be um, very advantageous. So um, that's kind of a broad overview of of all of the you know some some of the projects that that I've, I've kind of been talking about uh, recently. Um, maybe the only one that, that comes to mind that um, you know, I that um, it's it's hard to say. Is is was is the Zen ecosystem? Zen was really trending for a while. I, I did a few videos on that. Um, you know, it's um, it's uh, it, it's it's difficult. You know, <laughs> it's it's uh, it's it's one that is can be a little more technical in, in nature, and and uh, it, you have to kind of uh, you you really have to understand crypto to get into it. Uh, something like that, and um, it's it's not easy for for the average person. So um, you know, I I think that Zen is a real long term project. I think that uh, you know the way that they structured that with like the eight years of kind of the the token distribution. Um, you know, it's it's going to be good time to kind of like accumulate and look at that as as a long term uh, project that uh, um, you know. 10 years from now, 15, 20 years from now, could could be uh, something that could be worth a considerable amount of money just because of the, the people that are involved in, in some of the innovation and things that they're bringing to the space. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm sure there's some projects that I'm missing. Um, if you guys, you know, have some projects that, you know, I, you feel like I should be aware of, um, you know, I'm, I'm certainly open to to exploring some, some other projects and, and whatnot. Um, you know, I've had... I like talking about you know things that are going on um, you know with crypto. I've, I've kind of mentioned before that I've been an advisor uh, in 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 a way for for different crypto projects, and I want to to be somebody that that can be um, you know uh, helpful in, in in that sense and and be someone that can be a part of, of some of these projects because I think I have a lot of strengths and things that I I can bring to um, to to make that um, 
you know, real positive for, for up and coming projects. And so there's, I'm going to have my, my ears out. Um, if you guys, um, feel like I should, I should look into some other projects, be sure to drop that in the comment section below. And, um, I'll, uh, I'll be sure to, uh, you know, kind of add that to my list of some of the things that, that I'm looking to, to take a little bit of time to, to invest some research into. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be, you know, kind of doing a little bit of, uh, you know, working on, on content, you know, with some of the podcasts, with some of the shorts, and, and then also spending some time, you know, doing some research on up and coming projects along with, with talking with people that um, are, are working on some of those. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, you know, I'm kind of, you know, I'm curious to hear, you know, what, what you guys, um, some of the thoughts and, 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 and um, things that, that you guys have come across. So, um, uh, you know, drop that in the comment section below or reach out to me in private and, um, you know, uh, uh, be something that, that, you know, I can, I can look at for, uh, for the, for the future. So, uh, so yeah. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end the podcast here. I appreciate you guys, um, you know, um, being, being a part of this and, and uh, I'm going to be looking to develop this and, and build this into the future. And, and so, um, uh, you know, um, so I'm, 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 I'm really looking forward to that. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next, in the next one.